Good morning. Weekly message for May 2nd. One of the biggest things we're running into today I wanted to talk about, and uh, I pulled a thing off the website, which we'll get into more detail, but it's on these slips, trips, and falls in the workplace. And you'll have Bureau of Labor statistic information that'll be part of the, the email sent but there's all types, okay, and reasons for slips, trips, and falls. Uh, whether we try to lunge and we try to catch something or, or you name it, it's a different level. Uh, we're experience of slipping off ladders to jumping uh, with a two by four on their shoulders to, and it's like, what are we doing? So anyway, uh, also, will be sent is cost, but what I wanted to get to is causes to help send a reminder of what are the actual causes of slips, trips, and falls. One is uneven surfaces, spills, loose matting. Part of matting is if you start seeing it bellow up, if you will, uh, you can get hooked on it with your feet when stepping. Uh, Weather-related conditions, whether it be rain, snow, or ice, and hopefully we're going to get off of that snow and ice now. We're not having the right footwear on. Surfaces that are in disrepair. Highly polished surfaces or floors that do not allow for adequate footwear traction, if you will. Simply clutter. We have trucks and vehicles all the time. It is just clutter and clutter and clutter. Desk, office people, desk, open drawers. We're not shutting them behind ourselves. So then, therefore, how do we prevent? So, Controls are needed to help prevent slips, trips, and falls include the following. Practice good housekeeping, number one. Keep floor surfaces clean and dry. Provide adequate drainage in wet floor locations. Uh, ensure that wet floor warning signs are posted appropriately. That includes around bathrooms. The cleaning may just have, have taken place. Uh, clean and clear aisles. Sure walkway surfaces are in good repair. Keeping cords and hoses out of the way. Reporting and cleaning up spills immediately. Provide for non-slip floorings or coatings. If we can't afford it today, in the future, we should always have that as a practice. Minimize matting trip hazards. Providing adequate lighting in all areas. Eliminating uneven floor surfaces. Setting standards for the type of footwear to be worn. Training the workforce to take shorter, more vertical steps in tricky spots. And to step over obstacles at an angle. Establish an eyes-on path. No running rule. Those are some thoughts. And let me share my final thought. My final thoughts is that when we are walking, taking steps, we always look first, think first, and then step. Think, look, step. That is my safety message for the week. Have a great and safe week, everyone.